Right, Swindon against Hereford. If you're a fan of either of these two teams, we can show you the goals now. Uh, Rafael De Vita putting Swindon ahead in the seventh minute. Swindon are doing well at home this season, but not so good on their travels. Five minutes for half-time. Mehdi Karusha's fourth goal in five games put Swindon 2-0 up. Again, it looked like the result was decided, but Hereford pulled a goal back through Tom Barkhausen. Hereford substitute to Jan Arkan then scored to make it 2-2 with 14 minutes to go. But there are still twists and turns to tell you about in this game. Swindon back in front through Simon Ferry three minutes later, 3-2. Hoping to extend their winning run at the county ground, but in time added on. Harry Pell made it 3 all, And that has brought Swindon's home run to an end. Paolo Di Canio was left questioning his side's ambition after they twice allowed Hereford back into the game. Rafael De Vita opened the scoring, heading home Medi Carusha's free kick. Having made the first, it was then the Algerians' turn to take the glory. Carusha, who turns 26 next week, showed good composure to claim an early birthday present. 2 0 up and surely job done against the Hereford side, who'd only scored four times all season. But the Bulls had other ideas. Tom Barkusen started the fight back with this effort. Nine minutes later, Jamie Pittman's side were level. Johan Arkins had a place to perfection. Having worked so hard to get back into the game, Hereford appeared to throw it all away 11 minutes from time. Simon Ferry making the most of some lax defending to give the Robins another lead that they'd let slip. The visitors were not to be denied. In stoppage time, Harry Pell's header capped a terrific comeback to leave both teams with a share of the spoils. Swindon Town got off to a brilliant start against struggling Hereford as Rafael De Vita headed them in front. And then Mady Karouche made it 2 0 before half time. But the Robins then switched off as they allowed Tom Barkhausen to pull a goal back. When Johan Arkan headed in, the game was back in the balance. Simon Ferry quickly restored Swindon's lead and they should have gone on to claim victory. But in stoppage time, Harry Pell rescued an unlikely point for Hereford. Paolo Di Canio says that his team didn't deserve to win, despite twice going ahead against Hereford. First De Vita and then Mendy Carucci gave the home side a two-goal lead. Simon Ferry must have thought he'd won it with minutes to go, but a last-second equaliser saw the points shared. Swindon boss Paolo Di Canio was left questioning his side's ambition after they twice allowed Hereford back into this match. Rafael De Vita opened the scoring for the home team. Jake Jervis had scored twice in midweek and he was just unable to extend Swindon's lead. Chasing a fourth successive home win, the Wiltshire club had their visitors on the ropes. Mehdi Karouche was only inches wide. Having made the first, it was then the Algerians' turn to take the glory. Karouche, who turns 26 next month, showing good composure to claim an early birthday present. 2-0 up and surely job done against a Hereford side who had only scored four times all season in the league. Hereford have been struggling without a win in the five games before this one, but they gradually began to get a foothold in the game and threaten Mattia Lanzano's goal. And Hereford cut the deficit on 67 minutes as Tom Bargusian drifted into the box to fire home. Nine minutes later, Jamie Pittman's side were level. Johan Arquin's header placed to perfection. 2-2. Having worked so hard to get back into the match, Hereford now appeared to throw it all away 11 minutes from time. Simon Ferry made the most of some lax defending to give the Robins another lead. But Hereford were far from beaten. In stoppage time, Harry Pell's header capped a terrific comeback, both teams claiming a point. And a free kick, which Rafael De Vita convincingly glanced past Holt for his third of the season. Town continued with attacking intent for the major part of the half, firmly restricting the visitors. Karouche might have scored earlier than he did, as Cadiz sent in an inviting cross. He only nodded wide. 
He made amends five minutes before the break as the Algerian grabbed his sixth of the season with a fine turn and shot from Richie's cross, leaving Holt beaten for the second time. Hereford are the lowest scorers in the whole of the Football League and still looking for their first away win of the season. But the Bulls pulled themselves back into the match on 67 minutes. Winnell had just come off the bench and set up Blackpool loanee Tom Barkusen to fire in the top corner for a 2-1 scoreline. It prompted Di Canio to make changes. Maguera coming off the bench, he latched onto a perfect ball but sent his shot wide of the far post. By the 76th minute, Hereford had done the unthinkable and grabbed an equaliser. Jokan Arkin off the bench, he once had a trial at the county ground, headed in his second of the season to make it 2-2. In a pulsating game, it was the host who retook the lead just two minutes later. In the best move of the game, Simon Ferry, one-on-one -on -one with Holt, found the back of the net for the first time this season, 3-2 now. Full marks to Jamie Pittman's side, who tried to do something they've never done all season and clinch at least a point from a losing position. Arkin nodding over the top. Not until the very last minute did the Bulls get their hard-earned third in the dying seconds. Harry Pell off the bench to nod in Winnell's free kick to make it 3-3, his first senior club goal. A point for the visitors, but perhaps more importantly, some much-needed self-belief as Hereford remains second bottom.